Hi. I thought I would try to make a movie since I have been. I have to think of the word. Recently diagnosed with bipolar. I thought since I saw everyone else do it, and I might as well too. Um, I'm not very comfortable on anything where I'm talking or I have a picture taken or a video of myself. Um, so this is really very new for me. I hope I I get across everything that I would hope to, and that I answer anyone's questions they may have, and if not, you can certainly write me. I have no, no problem with that at all. Um, it's really hard being diagnosed with something such as bipolar. I don't know if I'm high or low or manic or whatnot, but I guess from people around me, I have it quite bad. And, um, I definitely, definitely, definitely need some help and some medication for it. I am on a waiting list right now, but I don't know how long I will have to wait before I get medication for my bipolar. Um, it's really hard because, you know, I've had lots of friends in high school that um, had bipolar, um, and I would go, I, when I would meet them, I'd be like, oh my gosh, you have bipolar, wow. You know, I'd be scared of them. And now here I find out that I have it. You know, having bipolar, I thought my actions were normal. I thought, wow, this, I'm normal, there's nothing wrong with me. This is what everyone does. No, it's not. And to find that out is quite a shock. Um, I'm now able to detect it and able to control it as, as best I can. It's, it's like trying to control a, a horse that doesn't want to be controlled. It's very hard, but, um... It can kind of be done, I guess. Uh, not really, but you do the best you do, you do the best you can. Um, it's it's like having a handicapped child that you have to always look after. You have to always look after your brain. You have to always be aware of what it's doing and what it's feeling, because that's the disease, and you have to catch. And at those times when it wants to just snap and go off for no reason at all. Um, I have highs and I have lows. And right now, I guess I'd be right in the middle of, of coming out of a high and going into a low. Um, I get very, very depressed. I get so depressed that I'm going to get out of bed most of the time. I am very irritable. I am very snappy at people. I'm very aggressive. And then at the other times, when I'm on my high, is I'm happy-go-lucky, clap my hands, run through a, a field of, of roses. I'm doing so, I'm doing so good. You know, everything's still so fine. And then I'll snap right back into a low again, and I want to kill myself. Um, it's constantly up and down, up and down. It's like a freaking roller coaster you can't get off of. Um, I really don't know what else to say, except that it takes everything from you. I, I have lost friends, I'm losing family, I'm losing everything, and you can't stop it. It's like watching someone take everything you know and you love away from you, and you can't do anything about it. You have to sit there, you have to watch it. And the experiences that I'm going through with people that don't understand bipolar and are scared of me is hard. To have someone say, I'm scared of you, is really hard. To... To have people blame you for things you don't even remember is really hard. Um, to have them say, why did you do this? And you're looking at them like, what did I do? And they look at you like, you don't think this is me. And I had a, I had a, uh, a boss talk to me one time and they had said that I said something really mean. I didn't see how it was. It was my bipolar. I don't know how to explain it to people either. It's, it's not something you can really understand. It's something you can only understand through having it. And I think that's what makes it so hard for people that don't have it, because you really do have to experience it. It's not something you can really explain to anybody, because in explaining it, I don't think you can really comprehend what it's like. It's something you definitely have to experience, and I wouldn't want anyone to experience this. Um, luckily, the doctor said that um, if I do get medication, or when I do, I will be fully healed through medication. I will no longer have to take it after a certain time. 
um, if I get it early enough. Because I am young enough yet, I can be healed from it, but that's only if I get it in time. Um, if not, then I will be taking medication for it for the rest of my life. That is a very scary thought. It's like saying, I have a pseudo, uh, I have a death, you know, wish, and, and it's going to come true. I, I really, really don't care for that. But again, this is not a choice. It's, it's my reality. No one picks these things. No one picks to have a mental illness. And no one picks to be brutalized for having one. Um, I've been very brutalized for having bipolar. And I honestly have no family and no friends any longer. That's been the hardest, I think. It's taken everyone I love away from me. Um, and the couple of people that I have in my life left, um, I'll keep them unnamed and identified. I feel they're being taken from me as well because of my disease. And again, there's nothing that I can do to stop it. I hope I'm not done like a broken record, recorder and just going over the same thing, but I really do want to emphasize what this disease does. Um, I don't think people who, who don't have it understand what exactly it does and what exactly it's like living with it. Um, when you do things, when you have bipolar and you're untreated as I am, you can't really control what you're doing and you don't remember half the time what you do. When you go off on people, it's called, I can't say it, but it's M-A-N-I-C, maniac, um, you, you, you can't, you can't, you, you can't control what you're doing. You, you, there's no possible way. Like, um, gosh, there was an instance where, for example, I was in the store and people were staring at me because my bipolar was going off. And what I mean by that is I was getting very hostile in my wording and my tone, just in a general conversation. And that made my bipolar go off and I started to really go off on people you know, um, I would be like, you know, people, you know, don't have to be looking at me like that, or like, haven't they ever seen somebody go off before, like, that they've never, you know, and you just, you keep going off like that on people, and it's not you, it's really not you, I could not control what I was doing any longer, it's like a baby who is going to put their hand on a freaking, uh, uh, what's it called, a burner on the stove. They don't know who, what it's going to do to them when they put their hand on that burner. They can't, they can't comprehend what that is. I can't, I can't, it's like being mentally handicapped to a sense you can't really control what you're doing. You, you do it, and that's it, and it's over, and it's like, okay, well, why did I do that for? Or it's like, you know, sometimes you do have to have people make decisions for you. And it would be like, I really hate to use this example, but it'd be like an elderly person um, who wants to drive, but shouldn't because they could cause a, ca a ca casualty on the road. You then have to take control of that situation and deny them access to being able to get in the car and drive it for their safety and for others. Sometimes it takes somebody else to make a decision for you because you can't rationally make a decision for yourself. 